Hey Aries, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at your energy versus your person or the current situation at hand. This reading is going to help illuminate the energies and themes that are surrounding you both. It's also going to offer an in-depth perspective for advice. This may not resonate for all, but hopefully there's something here you can take away from this reading. Thank you for your support, Aries. If you would also like to check my friend's channel, the link is down below. So without further ado, let's begin. What is Aries' energy towards this person? What is Aries' energy towards this person, please? All right, so you're coming across as the mother of pentacles energy. What is this person's energy towards this person? We have the six of pentacles. The relationship, the overall connection. We have the son of wands. All right. Some of you are dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Please keep in mind that the roles can be vice versa in this reading. But um, I'm seeing here for the Mother of Pentacles, you are coming across as very grounded at this time, Aries. You may also be thinking about long-term priorities, long-term goals, whether it's providing for family, um, building a family with this person, all right? You want something stable. You're also somebody that takes pride in your achievements, all right? You have been putting the work in. You definitely are somebody very responsible. And you are also a very strong, solid support system to this individual. How this person is coming across towards you is the Six of Pentacles. This card can speak about uh, a sense of give and take. There's definitely balance and harmony here. But the overall connection being the Son of Wands. All right. What I'm seeing here is that some of you feel like Aries, the person you might be dealing with, they need to put more work in or they need to be more motivated, more dedicated. Some of you feel like their efforts are just not enough at this time. You could have been feeling like you were putting the work in and this person was, yes, they were helping out, but you feel as though you're taking more load than this other person when it should be balanced and equal. There's definitely strong attraction with the Son of Wands. But you are in the queen energy and your person is coming across as knight energy. This could be somebody younger or this could be somebody that needs to go through more experience to be able to match your frequencies, what I'm seeing. But the son of wands definitely wants to make things up with you or they want to prove themselves to you, Aries. All right. I also feel like the son of wands, um, they are the very hardworking type. However, there's a difficulty in finishing what they start. So a little bit of hasty energy as well. And you're coming across here as very grounded. So let's see, what could be the potential challenge that you are facing right now in this connection? All right, potential challenge is the Harfant commitment, all right? Or you could be dealing with a Taurus, but this is all about institution, family, all right, community. Some of you feel like your person, the person that you're dealing with, they need to be more involved. You feel as though they're just giving crumbs or um, they're holding themselves back. The Harfin also speaks about expansion and growth. You really want to see this person put the work in in order for this relationship to take things to the next level, if that makes sense. Whatever this looks like for you with the Harfin. Some of you also feel like the person you're dealing with is quite the rebel. Um, in a way, you respect the rules here, what it needs to conform, what it needs to, you know, what, what needs to be done in order to ensure that this foundation is, is built properly in a strong sense. But whoever you're dealing with, there's a little bit of a rebel energy. Um, some of you feel like it's so hard to predict this person. Sometimes, you know, they're focused, sometimes they're not, sometimes they can be very distracted, if that makes sense. And you want more stable commitment more consistency most definitely you also want something long term i definitely feel like this person wants something long term however they don't want to be rushed this knot of wands could be saying there's so much more that i want to um i want to achieve i don't want to settle just yet all right i feel like this son of wands may come across sometimes as constantly changing their minds there's a very extreme emotional spectrum. One moment they're present, the next they're absent, you know. But I'm really seeing that you're putting your foot down. This could also be the challenge for you right now, Aries, is putting your foot down. 
you already know what it is that you want here, what you're looking for. So do not accept crumbs. You are better than that and you also deserve so much better. Let the Son of Wands um, prove themselves, is what I'm saying. Stay in your power with the Mother of Pentacles. Another message of this card is that if you stay in your power, you let this person know where they stand. You're not about to beg or chase somebody just to give you what it is that you deserve. You are already showing that. And just trust and believe that universe is going to mirror that kind of energy back to you. But the moment you chase this person with Son of Wands, um, I feel like the more they're going to be more distant or um, inconsistent, if that makes sense. There's a little bit of a rebel energy here, all right? And the Harfant is more of conformity, respecting the rules, you know? So let's see. What could be the advice here for you? What is your advice for Aries at this time, please, Spirit? Temperance card. So Spirit's advice for you is to practice moderation. Also, I feel like in the area of giving and receiving Aries, don't overextend yourself too much to the point that you're feeling drained, depleted. It's important to leave some for yourself. I see that you've been working so hard to provide the needs of others around you and this person. You may have allowed for a lot of people to lean onto you too heavily. So when it comes to this relationship, the advice is to allow your person to meet your needs halfway. Temperance is also exercising patience, compassion, and understanding. So find a sweet balance where you both can really work together. Know each other's strength and weakness at this time. All right. This could also be testing your patience a little bit, Aries. But I feel like once you both are open to learn each other's strength and weakness and find a way to work together, then there will be harmony and peace reestablished here. Another message of the Temperance card is also to moderate your thoughts, Aries. All right, think of the positive. Don't focus too much on what's not working out. If you also feel as though you've been putting all your effort in emotionally, mentally, and still nothing is yielding in fruition, it could be an indication to stop whatever it is you're doing and retreat. Focus back on yourself here. Replenish your well. All right. Whoever is draining you, this Son of Wands or this Taurus energy, I do feel like this space is going to be very valuable for them to realize, you know, how, what was their part that contributed the situation to, you know, get to this point. They may also start to realize that they have not been really giving it their all as much as you are, because this is something that they committed to with Harfin. All right. It couldn't be a half big commitment. Um, it can't just be when it's convenient for this person is what I'm seeing. Let's see, what's going to be the future outcome of this relationship? What is going to be the future outcome for this relationship, please? So if you choose to take this advice, let's see what is going to be the future outcome, Aries. So we have the Father of Pentacles. All right, so for some of you, I most definitely feel like there's an Earth sign coming in. Somebody that's more matching your energy and your frequency as it appears like Aries. The temperance could also be to wait for divine's timing plan for you if you settle down now to what it is you feel you don't really deserve especially if you feel like somebody's not serious about this or could be coming across as quite the player type of energy you are better match with this king energy all right or it could also be another message to not give so much of yourself if you feel like somebody hasn't matured just yet See, the King of Pentacles is somebody that can pr provide to you as much as you provide for others around you. This is somebody very re reliable, stable, and grounded. This is also somebody that has um, exceptional self-control. Son of Wands can sometimes be an extreme energy, lacking patience control. Some of you may also be dealing with somebody that has a very strong temperament with Temperance card. So I feel like Aries, there's an earth sign coming in here for you. Who's a better match? Something for long term. See, it's already in the king energy or queen, right? It uh, doesn't matter if this is a male or, uh, male or female. But you both are really energetically a good match for one another. So you know what they say? For every pot, there is a lid. 
And if this doesn't fit Aries, perhaps there is divine timing and plan. Something better, something bigger. So it's about knowing what you deserve here. It's ultimately going to boil down to what you feel you deserve. All right. So that's what I'm seeing for your reading, Aries. I hope that this gave you some insight and guidance. Take only what resonates and leave out what doesn't. Thank you for watching till the end. I'm sending you love and light and namaste.